Hi everybody and welcome. Uh, welcome to our Sunday afternoon live that we do every Sunday. <laughs> just seemed to fit. It seemed to fit. I don't know why. Uh, at four o'clock UK time. We also do a live on a Saturday at four o'clock UK time. So don't miss out. Come and join us. It's good fun. The live chat's streaming by. We've got Violet today. She's um, slumming it down with us today. <laughs> And John, we've got a lot of people. That's great. So today we are carrying on with the roller prompt um, where every day I roll a die and get one, two, three, four, five, six things that I must include or be influenced by. Include, I think. Yeah, include. On my um, thing. I don't know what to call it. Today it's going to be a tummy tuck. Now for those of you that are new to our Facebook channel, we call a belly band a tummy tuck because belly band sounds a bit rude. And we, we, we aren't about being rude. <laughs> Not so much anyway. Uh, so we call it a tummy tuck. So today I will be making a tummy tuck. Uh, the colour is white. I have to use 12 by 12 papers. I have to use a sticker. I have to use gems. And Edith Holden. <laughs> It seems all right when you say it, but it's taken me a bit of thought to get this one together, really. Because if it's white, how can you add these things to it? You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I, I, I think I may have a solution. I may have. So, can I just say, while I have your attention, before you go off chatting, please, I don't know how else to say this, the polls on the Facebook group for the... Um, giveaway that we're doing with, in conjunction with uh, Paper Shed UK, The Paper Shed UK, which is all beautiful um, dangles and journal jewels, um, dangles and scissor charms, etc. I mean, they are beautiful, beautiful things to win. But please just vote on the poll. Don't start adding extra ones and things. The answer will be in those six things that I've put on. And just vote once each poll for what you think it is. Please don't leave comments underneath because they won't be counted. So it may be that um, you haven't voted and you've left a, a comment underneath. It won't be counted, so don't do it, guys. Just vote on the poll. Thank you. <laughs> right, that's that over with then. Okay, let's get on with this. Let's get on with what we're paid to do. Are we paid? Oh, no. <laughs> Roll call. Let's have a roll call. Judy. Hi, Judy. Janya. Hello, Janya. Kyung. Hi, Kyung. Terry. Hi, Terry. Deborah. Hello, De Deborah. I just the one comment I saw was Deborah, and she says feeling confident. I thought, ooh. <laughs> That's because she already put the thumbs up. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was confident that she may enjoy it later. Oh, down I, was, the line. I was wondering if she was confident I was going to be any good or not because I'm not. No. <laughs> not today. I don't know why. I'm just not. Erin. Erin. Hi, Erin. Jan. Hi, Jan. Jen. Hi, Jan. Tamira. Hello, Tamira. Hello, Roz. Hello, Roz. Benice. Hello, Jim. Hi, Bernice. Gonny. Hi, Gonny. Violet. Hi, Violet. Noella. Hello, Noella. You're up late. Bob's doing the roll call. Shaz. Hi, Shaz. Joan. Hi, Joan. Amanda. Hi Amanda. Sharon. Hello Sharon. If I missed you, shout out. Right. So now we stop doing that, Bob stop barking. <laughs> oh well, nearly. Right, so for my 12 by 12s, I found this paper pad completely unmolested. Brand new, like the day I bought it from the shop, which is probably about a year ago. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Um and it's called Rose Garden and it's a signature collection by Sarah Davies. And I think she does, does she do Gemini? If I keep going like that, I'm going to have to move my chair. I can't move my chair because there's a mat in the way. Put it where you want it. I want it there, please. I line you up every day. But it's in the middle. And you just go out a line. It's in the middle. Lovely, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it just won't stay put. Oh, today, I'm just telling you guys, today's one of those days. 
you know when you get one well it's today um anyway don't mind about that so i'm going to select one of these there are apparently 48 single sheets um and 12 designs so there must be four of each each design by my maths <laughs> i'm saving my maths up for the maths prompts science stroke maths in mr in mr green i need to save it save it all up right so that's one design this is the second they're all quite light and on a white background that's pretty isn't it i'm not so keen on that that's nice that might do the trick let's carry on looking because we won't feel that we've got the right one till we've looked through every single one that's quite nice too actually hi mike hi mike we cooking breakfast uh this one with the butterflies on no because you won't see enough of it you'll just see the odd butterfly tip It's like a year later when you look through things and you think, why did I buy that again? That's really nice. I love that. Um, I think that one, no, I'm not in a blue mood today. Not blue. I said not blue. And that one, which is a bit more creamy-fied. More creamy than we're after. That same thing. Oh, it might be the same one, actually. Uh, that one, no, I'm not feeling that either. Right, so it's this one then. This is the one. Mr. F, please could you do me a favour when you finish writing to whoever you're writing to and put this away in the second drawer up over there because there's just not room for it here, to be honest. Thank second you. Second drawer over here? Yeah, of the 12 by 12s down or up uh, from the bottom second draw up lovely perfect that's that away right let's get this cut up so uh, my usual journals uh, i think i said this the other day when i was doing tummy tuck are a page of a4 paper folded over like that to get a5 and so the height is eight and a quarter now i think in america your your normal size is eight and a half so bear that in mind when you're making your tummy tucks because I want mine to go right from the top of the page right to the bottom and be stuck down, top and bottom. Um, so if you want the same, measure your paper and make sure you get it to the right size. Right, how wide do I want this? That's the question. Um, that's upside down. Sorry, you're doing Americans wide? It's eight and a half that way, but you're doing top to bottom. Yeah, but you fold it over so as you've got a five so it's like five and a half inches across and eight and a quarter tall so clever thank you i think i might make this quite fat that's four inches there see that's two fat guys it's going to cover up most of the page let's do three and a half more of a cummerbund yeah more of a cummerbund you can of course make vertical ones no horizontal <laughs> oh just bear with me today guys honestly I'm doing my best so i'm going to cut that off there at three and a half inches so i'm going to cut that down but that is actually going to be our tummy tuck kim says hi hi kim so then i want a piece to go inside and on top of that so but on the white side and yeah i know it's probably a waste of paper but you know oh come on get just get a grip let's cut this i can't cut it with that at eight and a half it doesn't go up that much eight and a quarter is where i want it so i'm going to cut this off at eight and a quarter and then i will have a piece that is eight and a quarter by three and a half right so that is going to be our tummy tuck this is a bit that's going to get stuck onto the 
journal page. Right, so... Jen thinks she needs some orange pop. <laughs> oh, I think you're right, Jen, actually. Maybe that would help. Oh, chocolate. No, I don't even fancy chocolate. I don't even fancy chocolate. Lordy. Something's wrong. Call 911. Well, yesterday something was wrong, wasn't it? Because it wasn't me. That's true. Maybe so, you're in a metamorphic mode. Yeah, I think that must be the case. Right, so uh, I want the white to go on top of this and be in a little bit from the, you know, leave a border of this all the way around. So let's just see what that would measure. That's two and a half there. I quite like that. It leaves half an inch all the way around, obviously. So let's cut that at two and a half. So I've still got that. Jean's arrived. Hello, Jean. And she's got a thumbs up. Oh my goodness, you're well in advance. Right, so I need to trim this as well. Um, an inch less than this and what did I say this was eight and a quarter so I need to trim this to seven and a quarter you haven't missed anything Jean not what you'd call on form today I've got a hospital appointment actually tomorrow at 25 past 10 what sort of time is that it's 60 miles to the hospital that means we've got to set off at some stupid time um, so I'm not looking forward to that maybe that's what's wrong with me I don't know so this is the same thing. I've just turned it over because it was one-sided, so I've got white now. So that's going to go there eventually. Eventually. But because, because this is all about white, that, that's the story. White. I'm blaming Ki Young. It was her suggestion, white. <laughs> so I think I probably need to ink around there. I was thinking I didn't because it's white. Maybe I won't ink around there. I think the thing to do anyway is to oh, is to emboss that. Could I trouble you to emboss that, please, um, Mr. F, if you won't mind? And I shall read the comments. With what? With, With that the one that's Yeah. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nike. You should never forget to get your thumb. Mike is the biggest help in that. He's always reminding people. Um, you're a good woman, Jean. Woo. Uh, and Jean says she's going to behave today. We'll see about that. Yeah, it's your fault, Keon. Of course it's your fault. Um, oh, what are you stuffing your face with, Judy? Watching you and the cricket. I know, but when we've... Set, started to set up they've just gone in for tea so when we join it again because we're recording it they will have uh, had the tea and they'll be out so yeah question is to ink or not to ink that's the question I don't think I will I don't think I will it's supposed to be white so let's see how we get on with that thank you Thank you. So this is a tattered lace um, embossing folder. It's quite nice that. I wonder if that's too wide. Not the white thing. I wonder if that needs... No, well, let's leave it. Stop messing around. So I've got some lace out, some white lace. Jean says yesterday's wrap was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm thinking that I want to put this around there like that to make it really pretty. Can you even see that? Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. Move me in a wee bit, yeah. So I want this to stick to the back of here. Yeah. I've got my Sunday best, look, my Sunday best uh, glue bottle stopper. Because it's Sunday, so why wouldn't I? Well, the other reason... <laughs> the other reason is I dropped the green-headed pin, but you know. 
So I'm just going to put a wee bit of glue along here that hopefully is going to stick my lace down. And I'm not going to start at the top, or, you know, a corner, because I think that might be too tricky for me. So let's have a look. Oh, oh it hasn't stuck very well. Well, might have done. I'm just asking it to stick too quickly, I think. There we go. So let's have, oh yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? That is pretty. You can't say it's not pretty because it is. Let's get this corner bit done. So I'm just going to bring it down to the corner, then kind of mitre it back on itself. That's the plan. So fold it level with the corner and then sort of bring it back out. I think that will do. Yeah. Okay, let's get some glue along there. Mike likes the lace a lot. Oh, thanks, Mike. I think you can't beat a bit of white lace. It's uh, It has many uses. Jean hopes you're all right and you get on all right tomorrow. Thank you, Jean. It's this ENT problem that I've got. Uh, those of you that have been with me for a while will know I've had several operations, some quite major operations. I've got, um, well, I keep repeatedly getting a growth here in that bone there that grows back into my brain. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong with me today. <laughs> um, and of course, they have to keep removing it. So I'm hoping and hoping that... Uh, it hasn't grown back, obviously. And it's always a bit, you're always a bit in a bit of a funny mood, aren't you, when you have to go and get results and be prodded and poked. I think, I don't think it's just me. Shifty scope up your nose. Yeah. It's not pleasant, that blinking, long, prongy thing that they shove up your nose. <laughs> oh dear, never mind, eh? Could be worse. I just want to stick that corner down properly there. So we're making progress. It's just not a really quick thing to do. Let's move that out of the way. I think I've got a hair or something that's impeding the flow of my glue. So I hope everybody has joined in the uh, giveaway. Prizes are gorgeous. Really, really, really gorgeous. And things that we would all use. I know we would. Um, and it's very generous of Kay to do that. It truly is. So I'm going to put my glue on there for coming round the corner. She'll be coming. No, it's nothing to do with that. That's more to do with uh, Kyung's new journal. Has everybody seen Kyung's new journal? You want to go to her channel. It's called Kyung Shotwell. <laughs> so you'll remember that. Shotwell is her surname, as it, as it sounds. And go there and have a look at her videos. If you're feeling in any way down or dispirited about things, go and watch Kyung. She is such a cheerful and lovely, lovely girl. And I love watching her videos. I go loads of times to YouTube to see if she's put a new one out. When she hasn't, I go, oh, it's not there yet. <laughs> Last corner. Round we go. Right, that's a bit, a bit raggedy, isn't it? That's and there. I want to try and cut that off a bit if I can. Oh, look at this performance. Right, I think I've got that off now. So I'm just going to overlap it just a teensy little bit. Just like that. And I think that'll do is I might go back and just glue some of the overlappy bits on the corners. There we go. Let me just trim that 
not so square. Michelle says hi. Hi Michelle, thanks for joining us. You haven't missed anything. It's me morning. Right, let's have a look on that side. What? Oh yes, doesn't that look pretty? Just for the sake of a bit of lace. Who'd have ever have thought it? Get in. Thank you. Now then, I'm thinking, do you remember yesterday when we set something up and we got dimension? I kind of like that. I like that idea of just popping it up a little bit. Now I could use, um, in fact I might use, that would be the best thing, double side. What have done my love? I'm just going to zoom out just a touch. You just All right, okay. Uh, double sided, double sided. Tape is what I'm after. Is that it? No, that might be single side. Uh, no, it's double sided. It's double sided, but it's not dimensional. I'm after dimensional. Oh, tape. dimensional. Yeah, I think. Is that? No, is that? No, that is. That is. Yeah. Right, finally found it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. My name's Fiona. <laughs> right, this is dimensional tape, so I'm just going to run it from the bottom. Right up to the top. Never mind the cat hairs that are in it. Oh, Kitty Cat's doing really well. Honestly, he really is. He started doing all that pouncing, you know, play pouncing and stuff, um, which I'm I'm delighted to see him do. He's eating well. Every, he's doing well. Thriving, you might say, which is great. That's how he should be. And we'll find out his name soon, next Saturday, when the competition giveaway ends. So I'm just going to put another couple of bits down the middle, just to lift it off a little bit. You're just calling him option one to six at the minute. <laughs> no, we're still <laughs> calling him Kitty Cats. Um, That's not the answer, by the way. It could be the answer. It's one of the options. So, there we go, right, so that's four bits of that, I think that should lift it up as much as I want it lifted up. Mm, should I put some more on? Should I put more on, do you think? No, because you've got to take into account the thickness of the journal, haven't you? You know, you put this in a journal and this is really thick and then you put something behind it and before you know it, it's way too thick, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at one, but I am going to give it a bit of a burnish. A burnish down, make it stick better, and you'll be able to get your release tape off much more easily. This is not a job I should be doing today. <laughs> Playing with a scalpel when you've got the shakes. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to stop from in a minute for a drink. That might cheer me up. Can I just make it clear to everybody that it is just orange pop? <laughs> I know we joke about it being gin and orange, but it honestly is just orange pop. Can you imagine me if I actually was drinking gin and orange? <laughs> Oh, that doesn't even bear thinking about. We don't drink at all, so it would be uh, quite interesting to see what happens. Yeah. If you like this totally sober. <laughs> if I'm like this sober, can you imagine? Yeah, that's the tequila incident. Oh. Right, there we are, we've got the backing off at last. I can't even get to my bin once again because things are loaded up on top of it. Right, so now I want to get this on here and I want to get it on pretty square because it's going to annoy me if it's not. So I'll line that up on my board so that's square for a start. What about there? How does that look? How does that look to everyone? Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Do you re yeah. Done it now. Too late. Right, so we have 
basically got white, doing all right. Haven't fallen into the trap of inking that because um, that then wouldn't be white. But what do I need now? Right, Tommy took white, 12 by 12, yeah. Sticker, Gems and Edith. Okay, right. I have, as you know, got the CD-ROM, which is the... Oh, is it Crafter's Companion? Oh, no. Joanna Sheen. Joanna Sheen. Joanna Sheen. Um, CD-ROM, which has these images on. Normally when I print them out, I bump up the colour because they are a bit insipid. Uh, if you just print them out as they are and this is as they are so they are quite pale but I knew that I wanted to put it onto white so I've left it very pale but what I want to do is fussy cut one question is which one do I want to fussy cut I could fussy cut those yeah 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 that'll do me that's what I'm going to do so let's cut around this Right, you might have to seriously talk amongst yourselves now because I am not the world's fastest fussy cutter by a long stretch. But I'll do my best. I'm better now that I've got these Timmy scissors. Jen says, um, this week I'm a naked drunken crafter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drunken would be bad enough, but can you just imagine naked? Oh my goodness me. That would be horrendous. You'd all, oh, you'd have nightmares forever and a day about it. As would I. I might have a nightmare tonight that I'm doing a live and I'm naked. <laughs> Was it the Naked Chef? Yeah. Yeah, Jamie Oliver, who's quite well known in this country actually. Uh, he's, when he first started, he called himself the Naked Chef. And I think what it was, was the food was pared back. But because he called himself the Naked Chef, of course, everybody was very interested in him. So it was a very good marketing ploy. Mike says he doesn't remember Foxglove being an option. You can add things to it, Mike. This is the Edith bit. Yeah, show him the list, show him the list. Point out the error of his ways. <laughs> that should do it. That should do it. <laughs> Somebody's just messaged me, it's probably Mike. <laughs> oh, I might have chopped a leaf off there, but never mind, eh? Never mind. Honestly, this is the world's longest bit of fussy cutting. I can't do it any faster. When I go fussy cutting in, in an evening, you know, I'm watching the telly when the cricket's on or whatever. Um, it takes me ages, then I look at what I've done and there's like nothing there. Well, there's always something there. I'm going to ignore that top leaf. That's going to be a bit too much for me. Judy says, ooh, the tapping finger, everybody behave. Yes. School mom. <laughs> oh my goodness, the tapping hand, that's even worse. The tapping hand. Has Jean been naughty? Is that what the tapping hand's out for? No, Jean's been golden. Has she? Yeah. Oh, she's saving it up then. She loves the claw. <laughs> yeah, she does. Young says, that's your favourite Fiona look, head down, eyes looking up with a look of mischief. <laughs> mischief? I don't do mischief. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. You know when you say what like that? I don't know where I got it from, what it means or anything. But periodically, Mr F will say something to me and I will respond by saying that. And I find it very funny. <laughs> but we actually don't I mean it could be I don't know it could be anything it could be quite rude I have no idea I should have fussy cut this before the live shouldn't I really but never mind I'm having a chat with you so I'm alright it 
it's uh, not a nice day here today. It's damp, it's cold, and sad to say the fire has had to go on in the middle of August. It's supposed to be blooming summer. Now I've said that, Mr. F's off to check the fire's all right. Um, Remind me, it was on. Yeah. She, say she hates fussy cutting, but she had your special brew of orange and gin, she might like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. It's Morrison's, actually. We used to get Aldi, but we seem to have sold out to Morrison's these days. Uh, cheap, their own brand, Diet Orange Pop. Um because we probably both of each of us drink about two litres of it a day, would you say, Mr. Probably. Zero but, sugar, mind. Yeah, zero sugar. <laughs> um, so that's what we are drinking. Mr. F does like the odd bit of dandelion and burdock. Mm, I don't like it. Right, so that's that. That was exciting, TV. Oh, TV. I've elevated myself. I'm a TV star now, Mr. F. Excellent. <laughs> Jenya says, we New Yorkers say it a lot, Miss P. Oh, do you? Oh, do you really? And Jen says, time for a Fiona story. A Fiona story. I haven't got one on the tip of my tongue today. Right, that's that. So what's going to happen is that's going to go there. What do you reckon? Um... But we need a sticker. Oh, I'm way off the top. Honestly, what am I like? I'm this way and that way. This way and that way. I'm <laughs> every which way. Uh, yeah, sticker and Edith. Now we've got Edith because that's Edith there. But cleverly, <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself for thinking of this. It's ridiculous. I've used uh, sticker paper. You know, the sheets of Nancy sent them for me. Thank you so much, Nancy. Um, now, I've never used them before, but I'm hoping that if you peel the back off, it's sticky. That That's my hope. That's my hope in life. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That's not right. I seem to have split the paper. Oh, I wonder if it's not sticky. Oh, that would be it. That would be terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get my scalpel at work and see if I can split this somehow. Everybody's holding their breath. Me too. Me too. Do you think that's it there? No, it's just splitting the paper. Have a go, Mr. Have see what you can what you can do. It says it's it says it's sticky paper. My elementary school principal had a wooden paddle. Really? Um yeah it is pretty but it's supposed to be a sticker. That's what I would say. It doesn't feel like it, does it? It's just splitting the paper. Do you want a scalpel? Sorry, no. Okay. Um, oh, thank you, Michelle. We used to get the cane. I did a few myself. Honestly, Ross, that's awful. And a, te and a teacher that used to wing his blackboard eraser. Oh, I had that. My art teacher was the one who used to wing his blinking eraser around. And the other thing he used to do, can you imagine this? He had a staple gun and he used to just point it at you and staple your hair to the wall. Can you imagine that? I mean, if he'd moved like that, he would have had your eye. <laughs> it's ridiculous, the things that used to happen back in the day. Back in the day when you'd go to school to get beat. <laughs> no, it's not coming off. I'll have to stick. I'll just have to stick it on as it is. Well, I thought it was like, um, let's have a look at the actual sheet of it. It says, it says sticky mat on the drawer. So I would have thought it was sticky, wouldn't you? But it's just like the paper's splitting. It is coming apart, but it's just, there's nothing sticky there. 
Well, I'll stick it on. So sorry, guys. You then have to join the two yeah. Bits together. So sorry, guys. Um, there You're will so be. So pleased with yourself. I was so pleased with myself, um, and now I'm not. So now I'm going to have to stick this back together. I don't know what it's doing in a drawer that says sticky mat. If it's not sticky mat. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I've failed then, obviously, in my attempt to have all of those on. Not really. This time yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to move that across there. Just so there's a little bit of white down there. I'm going to have to look into this sticky mat situation. I was pretty sure it was Sizzix paper. Maybe maybe there's a top sheet got put in that wasn't it or something. I don't know. Which drawer was it in? In the, one of the blue paper drawers. Oh, right. Mat sticky. Yeah. All right, let's get this stuck down. Back there. And it is embossed this, so you've sort of got to help it to stick. It is art glitter glue, so it will stick. I'm quite sure of that. Right. Well, that's that, apart from gems. I think my glue is a bit clogged up. Did you open up these packets at all? No. Is that it? Well, they've never been opened. <laughs> Pass it over. Oh no, they're proper paper. Yeah, they're the sticky mat. Sticky mat? You should pick the random oh, bit of paper. Oh, self-adhesive mat. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I've just picked a random piece of paper and expected it to be mat. Can we just pretend that this was sticky mat, please? Please, let's pretend that. <laughs> Where are we? There, look. Yeah, sticky mat. Where are we? There. Ooh, self adhesive, can't find it. There you go, self adhesive mat. Mm -hmm. Unopened. Unopened. Never been used. <laughs> sorry, guys. Never touched my human hand. I'm really, really, really sorry. Right, only thing left, because we've done the sticker, I stuck it on. <laughs> Is that any help? Uh, are the gems? So. I was thinking, I got this um, Viva pen and it's transparent and it's like liquid pearls except it does bigger blobs. Uh, I got the transparent because I thought it would go on everything but it also comes in green, blue and sort of orangey colour. Um, no, I'm going to stick some gems on, let's do it. Here we go. I'm going to stick these ones on the medium size and the clear, like diamonds. So I just want four. Oh, just got four out. That's brilliant. I'm going to have to order some more of these at some stage. When when they came, I thought I'd never get through those. But, you know, you do, don't you? Uh, I'm going to use art glitter glue because I know it works. Just in the corner of the um, the bottom one. Just a little drop. Lovely. Can you put my pin in, please? I'm not sure that I haven't. No. I've tried to force it in. Right, where's my um, gem picker opera? Here it is. Let's just drop these on. Yeah, I quite like those. I'm glad they're not coloured because it would take away from the overall whiteness of the piece.
Okay. Okay. There we are. It's done. What do you think, Keong, seeing as you are the one that actually set the challenge initially, the white? What do you reckon? Does it pass, even although we had the problem with the sticker? Actually, you know, I, I really like that. Let's put that on a bit of craft. Violet said she sent you the sticker page. Oh, thank you. From the Amazon list. Thank you. I was, I'm sitting here puzzling who sent it. Uh, Violet, thank you so very much, Violet, for your generosity. I just wish I'd used a piece of it. Oh dear. So there we are. There's our finished uh, little piece. Didn't take long today. Um, and that can go out as some happy mail to someone. I think it's quite nice actually. Blingy in the corners. They are blingy those stones. That's it. That's it. So there we are. It's white. It's a tummy tuck. It's got a sticker of sorts on it. Um, and I like that. So that's that's that. Let's at this stage draw the um, do the roller prompt for tomorrow. I've got something else that I want to show you, but it's not. It won't take very long. Um, I'm quite pleased with it actually. I love embossing. Much underused, I think. Right, uh, the big red book. Now I'm going to really try and do this tomorrow, but as you know. Uh, as I've just said, I've got a hospital appointment, so I might not feel like it when I come back. Um, if I if I don't, I'll do two on Tuesday. So you won't be shortchanged, um, but it just might not be tomorrow. That's all I could warn you of. So, where does the giraffe say we have to go today? There. Right, so I need a piece of paper to write it down on. That one's had one on each side, so that's a goner. Kim Martin was saying she was trying to vote on the options on Facebook. And you just click on the circle on the left of the options, don't you? Yes, yes. Um, what was I looking for? A piece of paper. I wonder how long, how long have we been doing this roll of prompt now, Mr. Uh, I think, I think, uh, I think 25 or 26, I don't know. Oh, nearly a month then. By the time we finish, we'll have been doing it for a month. I know. We'll have so been doing a monthly daily. Yeah. Well, seeing as I've been doing a monthly daily. <laughs> no, we're going to do, oh, I've got several sheets out. We'll definitely be doing Mr. Green. You can't not do Mr. Green. So we'll be doing Monday the 16th, 16th of August 21, roll a prompt. Yeah, today is the 26th edition. Is it? 26th, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 36 by the time we get to the end of there. That's good going really, isn't it? I would say. Right. I have to roll it on here because I've got no way to put this. So, first thing is the type. What is the type? Three. Oh, envelope. Envelope. Fine. Oh, I'm put my mark in. Number three. Envelope. Uh, and the colour. It can't be the same as today, so it can't be white. Too white. Five, purple. That's a change for us all. Purple. I don't think we've had purple for a while. Um, cardstock. You know what sort of paper it is. Five, music paper. Ooh. Music paper. Um... And the next one is the focal point. Do, 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 do. 
five die cuts. Die cut. And the next one is the type of decoration we'll be using. Like today, how we used a sticker, maybe not. No, that was in the focal points. This is the decoration. One, charms. Okay, they're always easy to fit in, aren't they, charms? And the style. This is kind of the important one, really. Five, shabby chic. Shabby. It's even worse. Chic. Yeah, definitely. When we had grunge and boho in it, they were worse. <laughs> right, let me put that away. There's nothing that sticks out like there is sometimes. Yeah, I know. Let's put the big red book away. If you've got industrial and flowers or something, yeah. it's harder to fit, isn't it? So let's have a look then at what we've got. We've got envelope, purple, Music paper, die cut, charms, shabby chic. That's all right. I think that's okay. Surely we can do something with that. So as I say, I will try my hardest to get this video out tomorrow. Uh, if when we get home, I just don't feel like doing it, I'll do it on the Tuesday instead. So you get two on the, on the Tuesday. All right. So that is that. That's what I wanted to show you there. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I'd done with yesterday's um, roller prompt where I made this journaling tag which actually turned into a journal cover <laughs> and could you just pull in just a wee touch so they can see it please yeah. oh fancy that's cute <coughs> I'll have a drink. That might spur me on to greater things. Oh, fell in. Yeah, that's better. Right. So you can see there's a journal tag that we made yesterday, journal card. And all I've done is put it onto some music paper, which I've inked and whatever. I've used the ticket that I had inside it. I actually made a whole new one, to be honest. Um, I don't know what happened to the other one. It's around somewhere. I don't know where it went. Anyway, that doesn't matter. This is this was a kind of whole new one. And you can see it's nice and shiny. Um, but still quite turquoisey. And I, I, I like that. I think it looks, looks quite nice there. And Jen said she thought it would make a good journal cover. And I was actually thinking the self-same thing. I think it would make a good journal cover. So I made a little journal. And it's hardly fair to call it a journal, actually. It's just a tiny little thing. Um, and I may just start this, the front, back of the front covers, just got this big pocket on it. Uh, and I've started simply by adding a piece, you know, from that heirloom papers that we had. Let me see if I can. A lot of us bought this last year, a lot of us. Um, this one, the heirloom stack. Um, it's by Die Cuts with a View. There's 180 sheets. That's a lot of paper to get through. And they really are quite sort of grungy, industrial. I don't know why I took such a fad on it because it really not, so kind of not my style, but um, it was cheap. And, you know, there just are some gorgeous pic pa uh, pages in it. Some lovely, lovely ones. And it, it lends itself to all sorts of things. When Julie at Camellia Crafts was doing her Alice in Wonderland, she used these cards a lot in her, in her journal. I mean, that's, you know, they're all really suitable for this sort of uh, little journal, nice collage page that I'm doing now with uh, yesterday's doodle. I love that. I love, love, love that page. Um, I mean, the, Look at this tape measure, fantastic. This page with cutouts, I guess. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of pages in here that I can use up. Well, I won't use up the whole thing, obviously. Um, but I can have a go at for this little journal that I'm doing now. 
I keep flipping because if you didn't buy it um, last, I think it was last year, you might want to see what's in it. I like this page. Loads of things, isn't there? And because there's a lot of it, I don't feel that I have to be precious with it. Um, these are just the pages that I've had a go at already. Slid them back in. So, oh, I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? So all the remnants are in there and I'm sure they'll come in handy for this project. Um, right, so yeah, I'll just show you through it. I, I decided in the end to use craft card uh, that is, uh, it's from Hobbycraft, it's on my bin, uh, and I think it says it's 220, it's 12 by 12, and it says it's 220. I'll tell you, I don't think that, it, it feels very light to me for 220, um, but that's what I decided to use anyway. So I thought craft was the right thing for this kind of uh, job. So that's the front page with a pocket on the back, then I made a kind of tag shaped thing um this is just it's shorter than the page and it's not as wide as the page uh this is the center bit one's you know this one's shorter than this one um this one i've folded over to make a little side tuck and then i've got the other side of the tag there so that's it that's as far as i've got with that and i'm not saying that i'm going to be doing this every day and making videos of it etc i'll do it when i when i feel in that sort of mood because i don't think it's the sort of thing that you can exactly um you've got to be in the mood for it definitely so yesterday i was in the mood quite obviously when i made this and i do like this cover i love this journal cover actually it's really nice the only thing i wish i'd done that i haven't done is I wanted to put book page, book corners, book page corners on, on the four corners of this, and I forgot. Uh, is the truth of the matter. But I think it still looks nice without it. It would just been something point of difference. So that's it for me today, guys. What time is it? Oh, it's quite a short one today. Um, but I do do ones that are really long, so I'm, I hope you'll forgive me for today being a bit shorter. So look at those two projects and look how different they are. You wouldn't think the same person had made those, would you really? I was going to put this piece of craft behind there because I think he's struggling to see the white one. Did Keong say it was passable, the white one? Uh, I don't know. I don't oh. know what she said. Oh. I like it. I think it would be pretty in that sort of journal. You could get away with it in an Edith journal, definitely. No, no doubt about it. Uh, love this piece, she said. Oh, that's all right then. So that's today's roller prompt. This was yesterday's roller prompt, which I've taken on um, and will complete as and when. And this is tomorrow's roller prompt. So there you are. Yesterday's, today's and tomorrow's. Uh, just tune in. What's happening? Is Miss P not feeling well? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just slightly off today. I don't know why. I'm just slightly off. Um, have a great week. Thank you, Lorna. You too. Jean loves the white. Thinking of you. Oh, thank you, Bernice. Good luck and God bless you tomorrow. Thank you, Jean. Uh, well, thanks for all your good wishes. I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But, you know, I'll feel better once I know it's fine. So there you go, guys. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I'm really sorry to shortchange you. Um, Erin, yeah, we're all slightly off. <laughs> I love the tummy band and the journal cover. Oh, thank you, Ros, and thanks for thinking of me. Um, feel better, dear. Oh, and shall I send him my love? It's really sweet of you. Thank you very much, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to come on and do my video on Monday and tell you that everything is absolutely hunky-dory. In the meantime, I wish you all a pleasant rest of your day. Behave yourselves. That's aimed more at some people than others. And you know who you are. You do definitely know who you are. And I will see you again as soon as I possibly can with videos, but I'll definitely see you again next Saturday when, don't forget, we'll be drawing the um, lucky people who will be getting the dangles from the Paper Shed UK. And they're gorgeous. Wait till you see them in the flesh. They're so lovely. So there you go. That's, that's my today's. Thank you very much.
Bye. Bye everyone. Take care. Be safe. Be happy. See you soon. Bye.